should you pursue an mba in singapore or should you pursue an mba in india so when we compare the schools in terms of in terms of the outcomes that they have achieved the ft and the qs mba rankings are very clear benchmarks of uh, understanding how the schools are performing on different metrics so if you look at the first criteria that is the career outcomes and roi the singapore mba programs will have a clear advantage in terms of four points first will be that it does provide a more diverse job market it you do have uh, access to the asia pacific region then it has a stronger international corporate presence for sure and if you're working in singapore you have a higher base salary in absolute terms there's no doubt about it and better currency value for the international careers so these are the advantages if you're looking at the singapore mba programs in terms of career outcomes and roi in terms of the indian programs what are the advantages that you can consider the indian mba programs have reported a higher salary percentage increase across the rankings especially the ft mba rankings which take this number into account then there is an excellent career progression i may ranks first globally on this particular criteria the program costs are definitely lower than the international mba program costs and the domestic job market is strong if you are an indian applicant as and applying to an indian business school so let's look at uh, another uh, aspect which is the student experience when you are pursuing an mba in singapore what is the student experience like you will, you will be studying in a highly international cohort which is around 71 to 94% of international students the singapore mba will provide you with a multicultural learning environment english based business environment and modern urban campus facilities what are the advantages or the strengths of the indian mba programs in terms of the student experience larger cohort sizes stronger peer learning culture intensive academic curriculum and deep industry connections within india so these are the advantages if you are considering an indian mba program now coming to the academic quality the third criteria that we want to look into when we are evaluating an mba program is academic quality how do the singapore mba programs fare on this particular criteria the singapore mba programs definitely have a higher qs thought leadership score they have stronger research outputs the international faculty numbers are also uh, high for the singapore mba programs and there is a global curriculum flow for the indian M- uh, mba programs the process for admissions is extremely selective there is a strong focus on the quantitative skills the indian mba programs do have a very high percentage of phd faculty in the top business schools and they follow a case based learning model so these are the differences in terms of the academic experiences that you will have in the singapore mba versus the indian mba programs now let's look at the international exposure as the fourth criteria of evaluating singapore mba programs versus an indian mba so if you're looking at a singapore mba programs you are definitely going into a highly diverse student body international faculty more than 60% of the faculty will be international it is definitely a global business hub location and it has a strong asian network so that is what the benefit of pursuing an mba in singapore whereas when you're pursuing an mba in india these are some things that you need to consider it does have a global alumni network the international exchange programs are definitely available to you when you're pursuing an M- indian mba the international student diversity though is limited in the indian mba programs and however they have growing global partnerships so you will have a lot of uh, indian programs which have extensive global partnerships that you can make use of during the mba program fifth and the most important criteria for quite a few of us is the cost consideration so how does the singapore mba cost fare alongside the indian mba cost the singapore mba definitely has a higher tuition fee higher living cost better infrastructure but also strong scholarship opportunities so this these are the things that you need to consider when you are uh, thinking of pursuing an mba in singapore and how do the indian mba programs fare alongside this on this same criteria the tuition fee are definitely lower compared to the global fee that you will have to pay lower living costs definitely in india there is a better cost to salary ratio if you look at the indian mba programs the roi matrix will definitely be very strong in case you are planning to pursue your career long term in india itself so these are the factors which will be important in terms of considering the costs when you are uh, selecting your mba programs some things that we can suggest to you in terms of choosing as an mba in singapore versus choosing an mba in india choose an mba in singapore if you want international exposure if you want global networking if you want an asia pacific focus and financial sector careers and a very very diverse multicultural experience on the other hand choose an indian mba if you want a high salary growth in case you are looking at consulting careers if you are looking at a strong alumni network a lower program cost and intensive academic experience so these are the criteria that you should consider 
as to what you are looking at from the MBA program. So all the best in case you need any help with your applications, feel free to get in touch with us. Do like and share this video, subscribe to the channel for more updates and more insights on MBA as well as master's admissions across the world.